I read all the Big Nate books. And while reading the Big Nate series, I noticed a lot of things, and a lot that if you have read the series, you have probably not noticed either. I also recorded statistics that I found through my reading, and I compiled them all into charts. How long did this take me? Two days. I have no life. Anyways, uh, before we go on with the video, this took ages, about six hours of reading, two hours of scripting, and about four hours of editing. So if you could just hit the sub button, or like button, or anything that you could do, it would really motivate me to make more content. Anyway, thanks, and enjoy the video. The other Lincoln Pierce started the series back in 1991, and has been doing it since. The basic bot is following the protagonist, Nate Wright, and his misadventures in his life. The comic was supposed to be more about the single dad of life, but it was later flipped around to be more about Nate. Since 91, 90, 1991, there has been a total of 21 comic books in the series, but there are seven novels in the series. Today I will, not, I will be reading 18 out of the 21 comic books, as I don't have the other three. I'm not reading the real books, because it's harder to do stats with them. Um, I can do a part two if you want me to. Um, just comment that down in the comments. Anyway, my personal love uh, started for Big Nate back in second grade when someone recommended to do it. Um, I started reading them around Thanksgiving and it's pretty much always celebrated Big Nate Day on the day that this video comes out, actually. I have pretty much all the books and I'm a total fanboy. Now enough with me, let's get on to the stats. The two things that I took stats on were how many total panels there are in the series and the total amount of jokes per kind of joke. I went through the whole series and every panel I put a tally mark of which kind of joke the punchline was. It was a lot of, lot of reading. <laughs> um, categories such as people, Nate, teachers, and family are all about the subject of the punchline. If it is in the Nate category, the joke is either said or intended to be about Nate. Starting off with the greatest hits, this was the amount of jokes that were said in the whole book per category. In this book, the most common jokes were ones about school. This book, while pretty iconic, rubbed me a little wrong in the reread. The amount of jokes about girls were, was the most in the whole series, and the actual jokes were weird. They were pretty much Nate having no respect for them, and were overall pretty sexist. Since this was a collection of older stories, this probably shows that Lincoln Pierce has gotten better at writing these books, but this book rubbed me a little bit wrong in my reread. The next one, from the top, was led by teacher jokes, which was a little surprising, but understandable when you actually read it. Out Loud was again led by teachers, and the, get the girl category flipped all the way down to the bottom. This is a trend that you'll see throughout the rest of the series. There's a lot of flipping around. One book, it would be all the way at the top, and then it would just flip on to the bottom. It's, it's really weird how much they change, actually. And Friends was dominated by pupil jokes, with the category making up an insane 55% of the total jokes in the book. I guess this kind of is correct because it's called And Friends, and so I think a lot of the book a lot of the book's jokes were based around his friends. And I guess that's why um, and Friends was in the lead on this one. Next up, Makes the Grade is led by Nate, with teachers coming a close second. For Game On, instead of listing the amount of jokes, I listed the amount of panels per sport. Soccer has 40 panels, baseball 93, and basketball 53. So it seems baseball is the most popular sport. I also listed the amount of names the baseball team has had, and it was 10, a <laughs> full 10, that's a lot. So for Great Minds Think Light, Nate and Teachers are again on the top. In I Can't Take It, which is my personal favorite, and I will talk about later, it, it was a very consistent amount of jokes per category, um, which was the reason that it was so good. Um, in The Crowd Goes Wild and Welcome to the World, people went in both. Uh, next up to bat, 
Nate wins in Revenge of the Cream Puffs, with sports doing the best it does in the whole series, with about 31 jokes about it in the whole book. Pickbook Time is another blowout in favor of Nate. You also notice that the girl category is sitting at the bottom again. It has been doing this for the whole series, and it's just amazing how much girl jokes there were in the greatest hits. Um, and then you look at this, and there's no girl jokes for the rest of the series, pretty much. Ghost Banana was won by sports, and it had that many. I mean, that's crazy. That That's a lot of jokes about sports. I don't know how why they uh, had that many jokes about sports. And then you look for the next one, and it has 52 jokes. That That's amazing. A hundred sports jokes in two books. It's just a massive spike. It, you can see there's a very random trend in this um, book series. It's not very consistent on the amount of jokes per book. And then for a good old-fashioned witty, it's won by girls? Wasn't it that two, two books ago? Didn't it have two, two books ago? What is the cons- up with the consistency of these books? I mean, I don't know if it's a good thing that there's not much consistency, because you get a lot of different stuff, so it's not just thing after thing. But then again, it's just, they're completely different books, the plots are completely different. Like, they cover so many different things. They're very different books compared to a wimpy kid. Wimp, a Wimpy Kid book is pretty much the same every single time. I mean, it's not com- like completely the same, but they have pretty much the same characters. But these books just fluctuate in characters, and I'm glad that it is reread because I never would have noticed that. Silent but Deadly was won by Nate, which was not that interesting. Uh... Sports was at zero, which can highlight how much the amount of jokes per category changes. Anyway, that's it. Finally done. Final thing I wanted to do was total up how many panels of Big Nate there is and how many pages. So I added up all the pages and it turned out to be 3,210 pages. Then I took count of the proportion of the amount of pages with four panels per page, and the pages with 8 panels per page. And it was 84% of them are 4 panels per page, and uh, 16% of them are 8 panels per page. So I multiplied it all up, and it turned out to be 15,130 panels of Big Nate. (laughs) That's pretty crazy, Um, and it's pretty insane that I was able to read that in two days. Uh, 15,000 panels, that's... It's a lot of panels there. That is, means that is enough. It is enough to fill a full swimming pool up with gallons of water. Fifteen thousand gallons of water is equal to a swimming pool, which is just crazy when you think about it. Well, that's enough stats for about a year. <laughs> so let's move on to subjective side. Big Nate has been such an awesome series, and always brings me back in, no matter how old I am. I don't believe it's because of Nate, because of the si- but because of the side characters. They're great foils, too. Take, for example, School Picture Guy, one of my favorite side characters. He's somewhat weirder than Nate, and that lets him show us the normal side of Nate. This shows us the flesh and soul of Nate more. It helps us define what he means to us and how, because of how he interacts with others. I think this is best played out and I can't take it, because the amount of jokes in the people, Nate, and teacher categories are all so balanced, so we get a good taste of all of them, almost like a buffet of jokes. It has a nice old style Big Nate book, with the comics and all that, along with the newer, more refined aspects of the new books. Nostalgia plays a factor, as I'm sure anyone who is watching this video and used to read them will remember the good old days. I'm still a kid, so it doesn't affect me as much. But I'm sure when I'm older, I will remember the good old days of Big Nate. It will always have a special place in my heart. 
This series raised me, and I hope a lot of people will see this series in the coming years when it gets older and older and fades into the brink of uh, irrelevancy. Anyways, school is just about to start, so I have to finish the script and the recording. So anyways, I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. This is my second video, and if you want me to do a second part for this, comment it down below. Like, subscribe, and see you later. Have a great day. See ya.